Hi friends. This practice is for those times when you're feeling all of the feels and you just need to create some release for the body. We'll focus in on the hips today. All you'll need is a comfortable place to practice. Whatever props that you have, block, blanket, towel, book, whatever you have will do. When you're ready, we'll get started. Arriving in this wide knee child's pose. So you can go the knees the width of your mat. So you may have been in it a few moments already. If you want to lift up and maybe find a little bit more opening to the knees. So knees are super wide. They can stay on your mat or they can go off. If they go off, maybe just tuck a towel underneath the kneecaps just to give it a little cushion. And then arms can walk forward. You're welcome to stay on the forearms or interlace the fingers and just let the head relax. Or if you want to take it all the way down, let the palms press. Hips sink really heavy towards the heel, so you get that length through the lower back. And then slowly begin to lower the forehead towards the mat. If that brings any discomfort in any way, be willing to modify any which way you need. If you find you get in child's pose and the forehead doesn't reach, if you have a block, you can bring a block underneath the forehead or roll a towel up because you just want your forehead to connect to the earth in some way. So if it doesn't do it to your mat, just bring the mat up to you by way of a towel or a blanket. And then just arrive into your body here. And take a scan. So I like to start down at the toes, just noticing all 10 toes, tops of the feet, tops of the ankles, noticing where your body connects to the earth. So your points of contact to the earth. Maybe it's the toenails, tops of the feet, shins, in and around the bony part of the femur into where your kneecaps connect in and then just let the body be soft so you might feel the point of co contact a bit hard into the earth's surface if you need a towel underneath always know that you have that option feel the breath as it moves in so you're sending that breath all the way to the lowest regions of your body so send it to the toes send it to the feet the ankles the legs the body's in a bit of an accordion shape here. So a lot of maneuvering of that breath in and through kind of the folds of the body. Your next out breath, just let the heaviness of the body sink into the mat and to the floor. Use your in breath to expand as though you're floating or hovering above the earth now. Feel a lightness of being on that in-breath. And then allow the out-breath to be the heaviness just melting out of the body, out of the muscles, out of the tendons, the ligaments, the joints, out of every cell of your body. Inhale, infusing that breath into the cells. Out-breath, releasing. So every out breath, you're clearing space. The in breath just breathes into that new spaciousness. Relax the eyelids, the jaw. And let the tongue just float in the mouth. Maybe the tip grazes the back of the front two teeth. You feel those little ridges. Feel a softening through the outer edges of your body. And we're going to linger here for about 10 more breaths. So if you want to ease slightly out of it or ease more into it, maybe the knees go just a little bit wider than they were a moment ago. As you linger into poses, the body begins to relax. And in that relax, in that um, ease of the joints and the ligaments, that connective tissue, you're able to find a little more spaciousness and exploration in and around the joints. And then just notice where you feel sensations. If it's in the 
backs of the thighs, the hips, the inner thighs. Really pinpoint into that sensation and just swim around in it for a few breaths. Just explore. If the body is resistant in any way, notice that exists, uh, that resistance, the existence of resistance. And that's an okay emotion that stirs up when you're here as well. Anytime we're digging into the hips, sometimes we can feel anger or resistance or frustration. And just notice what stirs up for you. Sadness, fear, anxiety, loneliness. And we move through those emotions. So one isn't better than the other. We're not seeking out happiness and resisting fear or anger. We're noticing what's, what that feels like in the body. So you can move through it instead of suppressing it. Give yourself another two breaths. And we're going to start out by feeling all the feels at the top of class. So as you've been feeling all the feels out in the world, just feel all the feels of how they've kind of come into your body and taking, taken root. And if you felt immense sadness or grief or frustration or anger, just notice where that resonates in the body. Do you feel it in your belly, around your heart, as though somebody's kind of squeezing it? Do you feel it in your shoulders, in your hips, the tightening? Get curious of the sensations, move through it, and then on the other side, we find peace with it. Inhale that next breath, begin to bring yourself up. Slowly lift the hips, bring the knees in, so they're directly underneath the hips. Walk the hands slightly forward, and if you want, you just paddle out the feet, lift, circle. We were there for a little bit, so you might feel that kind of compression of circulation. You just want to flush the energy back in, open the circulation up, maybe curl the toes under, press the hips back. Inhale forward, uncurl the toes, sit the hips back into the heels, or if that's um, too much for the knees, you can always sit on a towel or a block. Hands are gonna to come to the kneecaps. We'll drop the belly forward, pull the shoulders back, look up, stretch through the frontal body. Exhale, round the back body, lean way, way back. Keep holding onto those kneecaps with the palms of the hands. Inhale for your new breath. So just a variation of cat-cow breath. You find your full range of motion in your spine here. So you're holding on and anchoring by way of the hands and the kneecaps. And then just move through your in-breath and your out-breath. Feel free to close your eyes. Feel through every single vertebrae of the spine. You can move as fast or as slow as you want here. And then notice which way you go. If you kind of want to move quickly or if you want to move slow, that's your body resonating what your mind's desire is. Go a few more rounds of breath. Maybe a right shoulder moves forward on that cat move. The left shoulder. Linger where you want to linger and move with ease, whichever direction and speed that you go. And last one here. And then exhale, we'll walk the hands forward. So left knee, we'll start on the left side. So left knee moves forward towards the outer edge of your mat. We're going to take pigeon. If that's a challenging posture for the knees, you can always take a bent knee version where you're just going to lean out and over that left leg. If you're okay coming into the full variation, right leg's going to extend back. Left knee towards that left side of your mat. Curl the back toe under, square the hips off. And then slowly, I gotta move forward. <laughs> and then slowly release down. That's the challenge of practicing at home as you just discover 
you know, some limitations. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen to you tall. You're welcome to stay here upright if you really like kind of how it feels in the hips. If you want to take it down towards the floor, maybe the forearms come down, palms press in together. And we press the palms just as a version of mudra, just to connect inwards. And then you can relax the head, relax the neck. You're welcome to stay here with the hip square. Or if you like to go all the way down towards the earth, palms can come together. Maybe opposite palm on top just to mix it up a little bit. And then release the forehead or that third eye down. Feel the connection inwards as you're folding out and over here. So it's the heart is expanding and shining down, which reflects back at you. You find a subtle breath into the body. Notice the sensations that kick up. Your in-breath expands the length of your body, swirls around the left hip, the left inner thigh, the left outer thigh. And the out breath sinks you in, so you find a heaviness to the hips here. We'll let the body slay out a bit here. So you can go wide with the sits bones, you can go wide with the hips, wide with the shoulders. I think like an ice cube out on the asphalt on a really hot summer's day, it's gonna melt and spread out. So allow yourself to emulate the ice cube on a summer's day, just melting out and down. Soft gaze with the eyes. Maybe the eyes are open. Maybe they're closed. If the eyes are open, just find a point that you can rest the gaze on. In yogi um, verbiage, we call it the drishti. It's just past the nose. If the eyes are closed. The eyelids are soft. And that space between the eyebrows is really smooth and restful. And let the space between the temples be at ease. The mind wanders on all of the things of the world and of your life. See if you can draw back in on the breath. So just to focus in on the in-breath expanding and the out-breath releasing. Give yourself another 10 breaths. If you want to adjust deeper into this pigeon pose, you can curl the back toe under, shift that right hip slightly forward, or maybe you pull it back. So everybody's body is slightly different, and even your body from day to day is different. So it's good to explore what kind of works for your body in the moment. And then once you find your sweet spot, release that right hip back down. And relax the shoulders. Notice what you're feeling in that left hip, left thigh bone, inner thigh abductor, maybe in your glutes. Give yourself three more breaths. And one more, full inhale, full exhale. Next in breath, slowly press your torso upright. We're gonna turn our bodies to open towards that right side of your mat. Left foot's gonna come in, right leg's gonna extend long. Right arm's gonna extend out of the right leg, left arm's gonna reach up and over. So you find that extension through the left side body, both sits bones anchored down. If you need a little bend to that right knee, you can bring a little bend to it and just let the hand, the forearm rest on that right shin bone. You can have a flexed right foot or you can relax the foot, whatever's comfortable for you there. Send the gaze upwards towards the ceiling, take a breath in through the nose, let it go all the way to the belly. 
breath out and feel that right side body cinching up and in and maybe you dive a little bit more over towards that right side feel the reach from the left fingertips and that left side body left hip imagine the pinkies coming out of your left hip here and you feel that expansion by way of your breath. You're getting into those left intercostal muscles. You're opening the chest and the heart here. Left hand's going to go down. Right hand's going to go to the outside of that right leg. Adjust your seat. Flex the right foot. Lengthen the heart long. Big breath in. And then exhale. Melt the torso lengthwise over that right leg. So you're getting into the hamstring, the calf, the Achilles here. Any variation, you can keep the palms pressing down. You can walk the hands. If you want to reach around that right foot, you're welcome to do that. Relax the head, relax the neck. The most important thing here is outside of just the physical posture, the shape that your body's in, is that movement into your inner organs. So as you inhale, expand, you're expanding the diaphragm down into the belly. And then as you exhale, the belly is going to draw up and you get a really beautiful massage for those intestines and those inner organs. You can go five breaths here. And shake out the head of the, and the neck of any unwanted tension or tightness. Keep feeling that left hip, left Leg anchored to the earth just as much as your right heel and right sits bone. You find the lines to breathe into on that right leg. One more breath. Breath out, completely empty the lungs. Push the last little droplets of oxygen out. Inhale, new breath. Left hand's going to go to the base of the spine or just slightly out. Palm's going to press down. Right arm's going to lift. Reach the hips up. Left shin bone roots down. Take a back bend of sorts. Exhale. Hips are going to lower. Right arm's going to reach out over that right leg. And then once again, inhale. Find fluidity as you move. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Open the heart, exhale, lowers you down. Last two times, big inhale. Big exhale as you lower the hips. One more time, inhale. Exhale, sinks the hips back down. Right leg's gonna sweep around. You're gonna step the right foot to the outside of that left leg. Um, you can stay facing the front of your mat or towards the side, whatever is easier for you here. Both sits bones are gonna press down. Inhale, arms are gonna reach, get length through the body, through the spine, take the twist towards the right side, left elbow to the outside of that, get all that twisting, so you start to kind of gurgle a bit. <laughs> left arm's gonna reach long, gaze out over that right shoulder, and just a really beautiful twist for the body. And I opted for this sort of twist just because it gets you into that outer right hip and right glute. Three more breaths here. Find your, your edge with every out breath and just a beautiful rinse with every in breath. And then keep that right foot as though you could stand on it. So you really want to anchor it into your mat, into the floor. One more breath. Really ring it out all the way up through the cervical spine, through the neck. It's slowly unwind. So this is where we're gonna transition towards facing the front of the mat if you're not already. Palms of the hands are gonna go behind the back. Fingers are gonna point towards the front of the mat. Left sole of the foot's gonna step down. Right, right above the right ankle is on your left thigh, and then you're gonna lift the hips for a reverse tabletop hip opener. So soft bend to the elbows. Lift the heart, press into the palms of the hands. So it's like you get a lift of that chest. Notice if the right hip is kind of dropping down. You want to keep the right hip in line with that left hip. Keep squaring off, lift the hips a little higher. Gaze can be forward, up, or back if that's comfortable for your neck. And I always add a little more bend to the elbows periodically just to straighten and lift out of the shoulder blades and the chest cavity. 
when it feels slightly uncomfortable and confronting. I think it's okay to feel all the feels. <laughs> Just let it move through you. Good, and then we'll slowly drop the hips down. Bring the left foot towards the right side of the mat. Right ankle can stay on that left uh, thigh or knee if you're comfortable in box pose stacking. Um, if you've been running recently, you know who you are, um, or you just have tight hips like me. Um, you can bring that left ankle in front of the, um, uh, sorry, bring the right ankle in front of the left knee, and then that left ankle, left ankle is right behind the right knee. So you want it to be parallel to the front end of your mat. Lift, uh, press at the seat, lift the hips, draw the hips slightly back. So that'll draw you into the outer edges of your hips. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, take that reach forward, forward, forward. So you feel like you're kind of closing um, the torso and the hips, like a little hinge of a door. And then fingertips can press down, or I really like to bring the forearms to the inseams of the legs. Press the palms together, let the belly sink down, and just take a really beautiful double pigeon or box pose here. Keep breathing length through the spine. Keep relaxing, relaxing the shoulders down. And this is one of those poses where a lot of feelings will stir up. We just, we don't let it kind of dig into us, but we just breathe through it. Am I feeling frustrated? And what does that feel like? Where do I feel it in my body, in my mind? You get to the sensations and like, oh, okay, this is frustration. And then once you feel something and really feel it, it's able just to move through you. And then now in this moment, what am I feeling? Calm. Okay, how does calm feel in the body? How do I feel now in this moment? Maybe sad, what is sadness? What heaviness does it bring into the cells of the body? And it's not good emotions versus bad emotions. It's just feelings. One isn't better than the other. It's just an experience that we're having as a human. Good, inhale. Bring yourself up, right leg's gonna stay in front, left leg's gonna extend back, any version of pigeon. So we're just taking it into the other side now. Um, if you like to extend out, arrive. Sides are different, so just honoring whichever side of your body you need to here. Press the fingertips, inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, take it forward, out and over. And curl the back toe if you need to adjust. And we lingered here a little bit longer just to kind of savor the moments of the hip release. And then just allow, since you've kind of been in the positioning before on the other side, <clears throat> noticing where you can adjust and dig dig around deeper for discovery. You feel the outer edge of that right foot pressing into maybe the cushion of your mat, that right shin bone, and the right outer thigh, top of that left quad, chin, left foot, and your Feeling connected to where you are, your space in this moment. If you need to, you can shake out the head, relax the shoulders. If the forehead's down, maybe just roll the head a little from side to side, getting a massage into that third eye. The Ajna, the point of clarity and awakening. Notice if the breath begins to constrict at any point and just offer up a really deep cleansing breath in. 
deep cleansing, refreshing breath out. And the same as the first position we were in with the wide knee child's pose. You're just creating space and flourishing in that space. Last few rounds of breath here. If you want to curl the back toe under, draw that left shin or left hip forward or left hip back, just exploring a bit more depth. Once you find a new sweet spot, we'll linger here. And take a gaze towards the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the neck maybe the lower back, the hips, wherever you tend to feel kind of knots and tightness in the body and see if you can, you know, go in with like a little magnifying glass. Just kind of check it out, see what's going on, see if you can create space there with your breath. Inhale, begin to bring yourself upright. We'll take a moment or two here just to stretch through the frontal body, get into that left hip flexor, and then we'll slowly roll and open towards the left side. I'm actually going to switch it and open towards you. So left leg will extend, right foot will draw in, both sit bones will press down, arms will reach up. Left arm down, that left shin bone, right arm up and over. Rotate the chest, extend the gaze towards the sky. Keep anchoring that right sits bone and imagine that pinky coming out of your right hip. So you get the reach, so you feel the expansion through the intercostals, through your right rib cage, through the side body. Shoulders drop down out of the ears. Couple rounds of breath. Make sure you're really exhaling so you feel that kind of pulling of the left side body up, a little cinch of that left waist. Massage into the descending colon. Good, and then right hand's gonna come down. Frame that left leg, both sits bones still anchored. Inhale as you square out the torso and exhale, draping the body out and over. Inhale, make sure the breath goes fully into the belly. And then exhale, you feel the belly drawing in towards the anterior of the spine. So you get kind of that like suction cup effect, just a really nice massage into the vital organs. Shake out the head and the neck, a little bend to the knee if you need it, or if you like to reach for the foot and extend the body. Keep breathing into the lines of your body here, shoulders drop back. Forehead can relax. And find whatever shape of your body that works for you here in this moment. Notice the images that pop up or the thoughts, the ideas. Last two breaths. And inhale, walking your way up, right hand down, left arm lifts. You're going to come onto that right shin bone. Inhale up and back. Exhale, hips dip down, left arm extends out over that left leg. And then once again, inhale up and over. Exhale as you dip for three. Inhale for four. Exhale. Inhale for five. Maybe linger here. Exhale, lower it down. Left foot's going to go to the outside of that right thigh. Both sits bones press down. You'll find that twist. So inhale, both arms up, both sits bones anchor. Took the twist towards the left side. Right arm to the outside of that left thigh. Left hand to the base of the spine. So you set your foundation so you can really twist into this. Breathe deep into the belly. And track the breath as you inhale, track it down towards the tailbone. And then as you exhale, track it up through the crown of the head.
One more breath here. Exhale, you'll unwind the body. So we'll face towards the top of the mat once again. Palms of the hands are gonna move back. Fingertips point towards the top of your mat. You can adjust your seat here. Check that the right above that left ankle is secure to that right thigh. Connect the dots, press the palms, inhale, lift the hips for reverse. <laughs> Soft bend to the elbows, inhale, lift the heart, and then lift and square off the hips. You might find one side is a bit tighter than the other. It's okay, any discomfort in the knee, flex that left foot. Gaze can be forward or up or back. And we'll just linger here. Maybe a soft bend to the elbows, lift the chest towards the sky. Press the fingertips, press the right sole of the foot down. One more breath. Ah, exhale <laughs> as you lower. Left foot's gonna come in. Right ankle, uh, left ankle's gonna stay on that right thigh or move it forward. Square the shin bones parallel to each other and parallel to the top of the mat. Press up the hips, inhale, lift, draw back slightly. Arms reach up, reach forward and then maybe towards the floor or to the inseams of the legs as you splay the knees wider, palms together, shake out the head and the neck. And just enjoy the fold of the body. So like you're closing the door. So you're bringing the chest closer towards the inseams of the legs. You're honoring the side. So maybe one side feels more spacious than the other side. I'm not trying to force or push anything on either side, just kind of honoring where you're at. And inhale, coming up. Soles of the feet are gonna come together. Interlace the fingers behind the outer edges of the feet. Hug the palms around the tops of the feet. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, fold forward. Elbows will come to the inseams of the legs here and you can kind of coax the knees wide. Check out the head and the neck. And you're welcome to stay here with the hands around or if you wanna hold on to the feet or if you like to just round the back body and fold forward. Something for everybody, whatever you like to do here. And if you also, um, another option, so many, you can bring the feet farther away. And so you have a bit more of a diamond shape and then you can round. So whatever kind of calls to you in that moment. You want to dig in on the hips, heels closer is the way to go. I'll give a shake of the head, yes and no. Inhale, bringing yourself upright. Drawing the hips forward, hug the knees into the chest as you roll back onto your back body. Circle around, bit of a massage for that lower back. Heels are gonna extend up towards the ceiling, arms alongside the body, or hands can rest underneath the lower back. Reach through the heels, flex the toes towards the body. Big inhale here. Exhale, lower, just hover the legs above the mat. Inhale, lifts them up. Exhale, lower hovers. Inhale is lift. We go with this movement, breath, connecting in with the lift in the lower of the legs for about 10 cycles. If you like to add a lift at the top, so when the heels get back perpendicular to the floor, you can tilt the pelvis up. Exhale, lower hover. Linger at any Posi positioning that calls to you.
and last two, and last one. Good. Soles of the feet are going to come down. Arms alongside the body. Inhale, lift to the hips. Let the knees draw in together. Let the glutes lift up high. Maybe the hands interlace behind the back. Pinkies press towards the floor. Feel the heart lifting towards the chin. Press into the inner arches of the feet. Exhale. Lowers you down. Release the hands. One hand to the belly. One hand to the heart. Three rounds of breath. Good. Knees drawn together, soles of the feet pressed down, arms alongside the body. When you're ready, one more bridge pose here. Maybe the hands go behind the back and release one finger over, pinky edges pressed down, hips lift up. Find your full range of motion here. Feel that stretch through the frontal body, engagement through the back body. Exhale, lowers you down. This time, hug the knees into the chest. So nothing wild with this practice. So just spending some time in the hips, just releasing and creating space, connecting those hips with the rest of the body by way, a little bit of a core, a little bit into the back. Let the legs extend out towards the corners of the mat, arms alongside the body. You can also take Shavasana seated if you like. We'll just do a few rounds of breath here. Just easing into some totality of the body. Breath in as you expand. Open the mouth. Exhale. Breath in. Reach the toes. Reach the fingertips. Reach the crown of the head. Hold at the top. Open the mouth. Exhale. And one more breath for good measure. Breath in. Hold it, breathe it into every cell of the body. Spaciousness, ease, expansion, more than anything, just release. Release anything that doesn't serve you, anything that's been weighing heavy. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. You're welcome to stay here longer. If you're ready to move on, wiggle the fingers, the toes. Take the arms, stretch up and overhead. And gentle roll to one side. And slowly making your way into a comfortable seat. And palms together at your heart space, bowing the chin to the chest. A moment here of gratitude for your own well-being and ability to create well-being for yourself and for others. Thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. As always, it was an honor and a privilege to guide you through this practice. Namaste.